So before we get into today's video, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit that bell, turn on post notifications, so you're notified every time we drop, and you know you'll be notified every time we drop. All right, so what we're gonna talk about today? Oh, we're gonna react to one of London's ways videos today. Let me see if there's anything in sports, man. Tank Davis and Frank Martin, bro. Who y'all think about to win that? I know everybody be like Tank, Tank, Tank. But Tank did call that nigga trash, though. Tank said, bro, you don't like body shots? You from the suburb? Bro, you trash, bro. So, that's hilarious. But anyways, man, let's get into this video. Um, we may talk about Tank Davis and Frank Martin on a whole nother page, you know, if you're following. But anyways, since they want us to believe their content's real, we're going to react to their content like it's real. What was this? I'm not going to lie, y'all. She look pretty solid. I'm going to try to say something to her. See what she got going on. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's your name? London, what's yours? Chrissy. Nice to meet you. I ain't mean to just walk up on you like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you did walk up a little quick. I'm just new to Atlanta. Just trying to look, see where like Lennox is. People oh, keep okay. talking about this mall. I stay in this area, so I was taking a walk and Oh, okay. So London trying to clean that up, but you're not slick. So let me get this right. You, you're trying to see where Lennox is, but instead, all right, li listen how this sound, y'all. Instead of, uh, Instead of like getting in your car or going to a library, because you know, if you ain't got a phone or something, going to your library or even using your phone to Google where Linux Mall is, like MapQuest or um, Waze or something like that, you you would just he decides to I'm just walk down the street and ask random people where Linux is because I just, I'm new to the area, I'm out for a walk, and I'm like, no, bro, <laughs> absolutely not, man does not make sense and here's the thing about this day and age right in this day and age bro i don't care man a homeless man that push a cart to sleep on the side of the road his bed is made of of newspapers and cardboard boxes and a stanky funky ass blanket that somebody gave him six months ago that nigga got a phone so we not finna sit up here and act like you ain't you you just in a in a you ain't in a position to have no phone I saw the brokest of brokest, the, 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 the dopest fiends of all phones, bro. With, with connections, man. With internet. So, yeah, your, your, your little statement that I'm just walking, trying to find out what Linux is. No. Use your phone, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, it's up the street or something. I'm going to go to my friend, Chris. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. what's your name? Chrissy. Is it Chrissy? Yeah. That's my sister's name. It, oh, okay. I remember you your sister. No, I, I ain't going to say all that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, then, okay. I mean, you pretty, though. Thank you, thank you. Maybe we should get to know each other. I'm not on that type of time right now. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I'm just saying, even on some cool shit, you ain't got to even take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, I'm new out here, so yeah, it's vibing. I'm, yeah, no, nah, I'm new too, but I ain't feeling it. Atlanta a little sketchy. I'm not from Atlanta. I'm from New York. But you live here. I just I just moved here. I'm good. All right, it's all I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. No problem. You sure, though? No, nah, I'm great. Thank you. Have a good day. Nice meeting you, though. Likewise. Once again, in big cities, okay, here's the thing. I'm going to put it like this. Unless you're smoking weed, unless you are a fiend or, you know, whatever. You, I ain't finna say light drugs. I'm going to say hard drugs. And y'all know what the hard drugs is. I ain't finna sit up here and run down the list of the hard drugs. Big city-wise, unless you're homeless or, you know, whatever, people are just not finna just be friends with just some random dude just approaching, bro. It, just, it's, it, don't, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a big city. A lot of stuff happens, so... The likelihood of you just approaching a female talking about, hey, just from regular, degular ass nigga, especially in Atlanta, just being like that. The odds of you approach somebody and then wanting to actually be your friend within like a minute or two minutes of meeting you, bro, that doesn't happen all the time. But like I said, if y'all, if you, if you're homeless and they homeless, it may happen. If you, um, if you a junkie out here and and they low key on some junkie shit, it may happen. But just people whose heads on straight and just normal people, bro, like, this very slim that somebody's going to be like, oh, yeah, hey, you can be my friend. Nice to meet you. We can hang, especially in a big city. Like I said, that mentality, that approach that you're using is for a smaller city. I keep trying to I keep trying to tell us thing. It's not for cities that's a million people plus or 500,000 people, 700,000 people, 200,000, that's not for that. It's for, it's for like 50,000, 60,000, 70,000. You can get away with that. Hey, I'm new to the city. I'm trying to figure out what's going on around here. I'm trying to look for new friends. You can get away with that in those small cities, bro. You can't get away with that in those big cities because 
too much stuff happens in those big cities, man, for people just to be being friends with people they just meet in a minute. Now, I understand from the dude's perspective, trying to, you know, talk to a girl, we be friends with a female quick, you know what I'm saying, just because the ma we're the male, they're the female, and, you know, especially if she look all right, we, we be friends with her quick, just because in our head, we think, oh, we can actually eventually hit this. But from the female to the male, it, it's, that's not likely going to happen. So even if she does come out to your car, bro, that's not no gold digger. I've already said many a time that y'all need to clip that because that makes no sense. You said what? This yeah. This nice oh, I appreciate you. Okay, okay. Hmm. So what you think your name was? London. London? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, what you be doing? Like, what you do as a living? I mean, I do a lot of things. Why? Okay, why you acting like that? I mean, I'm not acting no way. I'm just giving you the same energy you gave me. You just told me that you wasn't trying to get to know nobody, right? All right, so say this. I'm going to say this again, man. Um... Well, you have vehicles like that, bro. People are going to come up and ask you, hey, what's your name? Hey, what are you doing? Um, you can't get mad because you approach somebody that they didn't know who you are. And they're just sketchy of the city they're in because the city, the city's sketchy. You can't blame a person, bro. That's, that's you. It's like y'all put people in situations to where... Here's the thing. Here's the, I'm going to use Damien Cryer for an example, right? Uh, we ain't reacted to Damien Cryer, but you know, if you follow the channel, you know all you know all the videos we had reacted to Damien Cryer. So Damien Cryer, he will holler somebody, right? That they holler him, they he get it, they they will do something. He get in the car, then he'll do something called it, and he you know the Amber Alert. He's talking about the Amber Alert stuff. That's basically the situation that these dudes is putting these women in. It's like you want them to. Give your give them your number. You want them to do this, do this, do this within two minutes of meeting you, like. And then you get mad when they don't. Like, nah, I'm cool. I'm this, I'm that. You know, um, you don't show them no reassurance, bro. There's like no reassurance, like, or anything. And then whenever they come back, like, hey, and then whenever you walk back to your nice vehicle, they're like, hey, bro, whoa, 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 what's up with you? What do you do? And you get mad because somebody asking you what you do afford your nice stuff like people do that everywhere anywhere bro you can have a moped that's the that got dualies on the back with you know what i'm saying with, with with a lift kit of 32s on it and you pull up at a gas station on a moped with a lift kit of 32s with dualies on the back and, and people are going to come up and talk to you because of your vehicle you see what i'm saying people are going to be like hey um Hey, bro, how did you, how did you manage to, you see what I'm saying? So it's like, you're, it's like you're doing stuff that people are not at fault by because it's a, it's a human defect for us to be attracted to nice things. It's a human defect for us to be curious about how this particular individual obtained what they had because we're in, we're in a time to where everybody's, you know, it's serious. Everybody's climbing, trying to, everybody's been climbing, trying to climb the ladder. But now it's on full display because you got social media and stuff like that. You can actually see people's progression and people can show you a lot more. So you can't try to take the human up out of a person, bro. You know, like, you can't do that, man. And then and then stamp it as a gold digger video. I mean, that's, that's mentally sick, man. I was trying to get to know nobody, but yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that don't mean we can't get to know, know each other and see where it goes. I mean, that's basically what I was saying. We could be cool. I wasn't even saying, like, hey, let's f around. I was saying, like, yo, let's get to know each other. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Chill. But you obviously wasn't interested in that. I don't know. You just don't give me the chill vibe. I mean, what do you mean? What do I give you then? I don't know. Like, a lot of men I come in contact with, like, they players, and they try to... Yeah, but I'm, well, I'm not, I'm not them n***a, though. I'm me. You know what I'm saying? I can't act like no other I only got like me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, let me see what you're about then. Nah, let me see what you about. You already showed me that you wasn't interested, so why should I even give you my time, though? I'll be worth your time. Oh, yeah, how so? Do you want to sit down and talk, talk with me? I mean, I feel like we're talking right now, for real. You so standoffish with I'm me. I'm not why being standoffish. Like I say, I'm giving you the same energy you gave me. Okay, well, can we start over? I don't know if I want to no more. You don't want to start over with me? Why should I? 
you should start over with me because I think I'm a vibe. I'm a good person. You think you I a think vibe? I just misjudged you. I think I, you did too. I think I definitely misjudged you. I'll take accountability for that, but I can't be wrong for how I feel about men. Yeah, but you can't, you can't. So you're doing this off of past experiences with men. Slightly. Well, look, you, it's, like, it's like me, right? I can't walk into a new situation uh, got the same mindset as my old one. If I keep uh, looking backwards, I'm a trip going forward. You know what I'm saying? You're right, you're right. So you shouldn't do that. I shouldn't. You shouldn't, but you did already. I though. did. And I took my accountability for it, though, you like, did. I So, like, I feel like that's your own love for something. Yeah, but I'm just confused on why all of a sudden now you want to come over here. So do you... Do, I'm so asking you, you a not, question. Are you not going to get past I'm asking thing? you one question, though. And if I you answered your question. You didn't. I did. Hey, look, man, what you want to talk about? I actually want to get to know you a little bit. Hey, look, hop in, man. Don't waste my time, uh, man. Okay, okay. Got one, coach. You really don't have one, bro. You, you really don't. Like, you really don't even have a point. Like, like at all. <laughs> Okay, so can we like start over and not have so much animosity? Like, I mean, you know. I guess. Okay. So myself, who are so you? So let's. I'm Chrissy. Okay. Okay, and what I do for a living is that I'm a professional dancer. Like you. No, no, I actually dance. I don't. Sh no, no shade to the sh stuff because I can't do that. I can't work no pole. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, but no, I'm a professional dancer. Um, I do ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, heels, anything you can think of. Um, I'm a model on the side. Okay. And I work in nonprofit, so right now I work in higher education. Oh, like, so you got a lot going on for yourself. I do. Get to the back. Yes, my head on straight, so that's a, that's a plus. I hope. So sure, it is. Yeah. Okay. So it what might, you? might add a couple points to you. Okay. I hope so. How many points? I mean, that's for me to know. You to know. So yeah. you keep it tasked and ain't gonna tell me. Now? I mean, hey, it is what it is. That's crazy. Okay. 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 So what about you? What do you do? Um, I'm an entrepreneur. My name mm -hmm. is London. I'm from New York. Uh, I like to travel. Okay. I'm an entrepreneur uh, into real estate, crypto. On an exotic rental company. Okay, exotic and, rental. Yeah. Hmm. And I just be vibing. I just live life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. What's the favorite place you ever traveled to? The furthest? Like the your favorite place. Oh, favorite? Uh, Turks. Turks. Turks and Caicos. Okay, what is it? Uh, where is Turks? I don't even know where Turks is, <laughs> but I, just, I know I was there, though. Okay. I don't know what part of the world it is, what I'm saying. Okay, okay, cool. What cool. about yourself? Um, you never heard of Turks? I've heard of it. I don't know where it's at, though. Like, Matter I would fact, love to travel let's more. Let's find out. Let's ask Siri. Hey, Siri, where is Turks and Caicos? It's bro, just I'm not area. trying to dry in here, bro. <laughs> this <laughs> take forever. Right, I really, I really want to know. <laughs> where is Turks and Caicos? British Overseas Territory. It's probably its own little island, maybe, type. Something. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, that's my favorite spot, though. Okay. Single? I am single. How long you been single? <sighs> three years, about to be three years since I graduated. Yeah? yeah. How come so long? I mean, really just because like every I tried to mess with, like he been broke or like he had money and he went broke and he just sat on his ass all day. And I don't really mess with that. You know, I need somebody with some money like that's gonna do something for me. Do something for you? Yeah. I mean, why it's all about money though? I mean, because I ain't just trying to bring something to the table. I need somebody to take care of me. Ain't, ain't no man supposed to provide. All right, so I'm gonna say this, and people can say whatever they want to say, and I guarantee the people who uh, I disagree with that. Not all of you, but most of you probably are just broke and just living, not even living paycheck to paycheck. One person probably working, y'all probably scamming. I don't mean scamming big money. I'm talking about like scamming a person out of stupid shit. Like, hey, I got this brush. You want to buy it for two? Yeah, shit like that, or. You know, um, she didn't say nothing. Wrong. She didn't say nothing wrong, London. All she basically said is, you know, she don't want to have to take care of people. She don't want to be the adult, the responsible one in the relationship. Basically, she wants basically what she's saying, but not saying it is she wants a man who's more responsible than her. And she's basically explaining to you that she's highly responsible. So. Um, and she said she's basically been down the route to where the man's had some money and he's went broke and he just sat around not doing anything. And, you know, she said she's just not with all that. So that goes back to what I've always told y'all on this channel. Stop leading with the money because a lot of you cats will have a little bread. I'm going to say a little bread. I'm two, three rags. Okay. 
All you cats have two or three racks. Y'all meet a girl, and what do y'all do? Y'all like y'all go out to eat here. Y'all go to this little show here. Y'all do this. Y'all do that. The next thing you know, that little two three racks, two three racks, it didn't dwindle down to two hundred dollars. And now y'all, now you sit. You know what I'm saying? And for my people who know, you know, ain't nothing like having fifteen hundred, right? And then you hold on to your fifteen hundred, and your fifteen hundred dwindling down, dwindling down, and then the next thing you know, you're fifty dollars, and you just depressed because you're like, damn. And people may be like, $1,500, that's no money. We we, we know every we, we, we've already everybody on social media is rich. Everybody on social media has Lamborghinis. We know, okay? Every, like, there's, like, not one broke person on social media, okay? According to social media. But anyways, y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all, everybody know that feeling to where you got a little something, and then it's like, damn, like, bro, I ain't got that. It's like I got work beat up, and then you don't want to do nothing. So that's all she's saying to this home, saying to do. Like, she needs somebody, a man who's going to have some money, a man who's going to, you know what I'm saying? She's not saying that, she's not literally saying that. She's not saying that the nigga has to be a millionaire, the nigga has to pay for everything. She's not saying that, bro. She's saying basically that the dude has to be an adult, okay? And not having no money, you know, now, granted, some people have bills, some people have responsibilities. It is what it is. As long as you take care of responsibilities and you broke, it is what it is. But for you probably not to be taking care of your responsibilities and you broke, uh, you know what I'm saying? You need to grow up. She needs somebody to, she, she just wants a grown up. She don't want a teenager. You know what I mean? Is that not what you're supposed to I mean, to I feel like, <clears throat> yeah, man, it's a natural provider, but it shouldn't be, your relationship shouldn't be based around money, though. So you want a broke female? I'm not saying that, but I we all have ups and downs, though. <clears throat> we not always gonna have it up here all the time. You know what I'm saying? I might go through a season of life, God forbid, that you know I might be down for a little minute, and I expect my woman to be there for me when I'm in that season. How long you gonna be down though? Because I mean, why does that matter though? It matters because like then it all falls on me. I need somebody with that's gonna get up off they they buddy and get that's some not, money. Well, like, no, that don't mean that I'm not. That don't mean I'm sitting around being lazy. What you doing then? I'm hustling to get back where I'm at. I might not. So say when you met me, I had $3 million, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So I might have went down to 200000 I might have invested bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking a risk. No risk, okay. no reward. So in that, and when I had that $3 million, you was getting everything. You was getting all this. So mm -hmm. when I'm down, I mean, you. why would you leave? Because he ain't got no money. But you said you get to the bag. You said you got I a lot get, going to. So why the f*** you worried about what a n*** could do? Because I want his money too. I want my money and I want his money. I want your money. I want his money. But you supposed to money. hold your man down when he going through shit. Like that. All right, so we don't forget. Yeah, see, see, I, I, that, that's why I know a lot of y'all like this channel, right? Y'all get all wrapped up in the videos. Da, da, this, that, that. He said this. She said that. Blase, blase, that. Blase, blase, this, 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 that. This, this, that. Blase, blase, but we don't get wrapped up in the video, right? Because we don't forget. Now, I do remember at the beginning of the video, he was talking about, hey, I was looking for a friend to hang out with. Hey, I was I was looking to try to find, um, I was looking to try to find where this mall was at. When she came back, she's talking about, oh, we ain't got to do all that. We can talk and see where it go. All right, cool. So why is all this hostility, animosity about situations that not have not happened? Imagine, arguing with somebody about a situation that has never happened. Could you imagine that? I'm meeting you, you meeting me, and we're literally going back and forth about a situation that has never transpired. It's making me upset that you're not going to be there if this guy's this. It's making me... Situations never happen, bro. Once again, if anybody knows from experience, if anybody... I know people on my channel have actually lived life, and you know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with y'all, because y'all live life, and y'all been through experience, stuff like that. So, um, you know that you can say what you want to say before you're in a situation, but when you're in that situation, things are different because you actually get to experience it. So a person can say, oh, this, this, that. A person can say, oh, yeah, whatever, whatever hypothetical situation or example he gave him, he can say this, I'm down, this, that. But chances are, bro, if you have three million and you're getting her everything and you're down to a quarter of a million dollars, chances are she's still going to be there. Because not everybody's walking around with a quarter of a million dollars. That's just saying something about the little hypothetical situation that doesn't exist that you're creating an issue about to this person you've only known for five minutes. So, just saying. You know what I'm saying? Because look, I'm going to be honest. If I'm married, right? Okay. If I'm married and I go through some the first time.
first person I'm looking at is my is my wife. Okay. At the end of the day, because you you supposed to be my partner. So if I'm going through it, you're supposed to hold me down, help me get back up. I'm not saying I'm going to just be sitting around, not trying to get myself back up, but I, I expect my woman to at least be there and not leave just because my money low. I'm not saying I'm going to leave right away, but if it's one of those things like you just sitting, like you soaking and you're not getting up and doing nothing, that's where it's going to be like, okay, you lost me. Because at the end of the day, like it works with two people bringing something to the table. I can't sit around with a man who's not bringing nothing to the table and you just sit around with me feel sorry for you. I'm but not that, doing that. Seem like you just really in it for the money, though. I mean, yeah, like I want somebody with money. Why, why am I wrong for wanting somebody with some money? I'm not saying that, but are you basically saying, like, if a n go through some, you just out of there, though. Um, she didn't say nothing like that, money. Basically, what she said is, okay, basically, if a nigga got some bread, the nigga fall off. Uh, she, she understands that motherfuckers fall off. But don't think after you fall off that you're going to be sitting around for two or three, maybe four months, not doing anything, putting all the pressure on her, and you're not doing anything. That's what she's saying. She's not saying that, oh, uh, if a nigga got some money, then he, he, you trying to tell me that. She's not saying the bullshit you, 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 about to, you, about to, you just said or you about to say, bro. She's not saying that, which is common sense. If I'm dealing with somebody and they are whatever, then they fall off and they're sitting here for like three to four months not doing nothing, maybe trying to run my pockets down. Oh, bitch, you gotta go. I'm doing the same thing. Like you know, like it's a different story if you trying, if you making the effort because you could be making the effort while you are trying to get back on your grind. You see what I'm saying? Now what I mean by that is you can get that nine to five making the effort. While you're trying to get back into your entrepreneurship, make your money by your make your money on your own. While you're trying to get back on your grind, hopefully y'all understand how I broke that down. You know what I'm saying? If you're just not making an effort and you're not on your grind, bro, like would you just about to? I, I just gotta sit here and just deal with a moping ass motherfucking person with bad energy because y'all know bad energy sucks y'all down. Regardless, regardless if y'all realize it or not, a person with negative vibes, negative energy, that kind of you know what I'm saying? That it kind of pulls like. You know what I mean? It just keeps you away from the positive in a way. So, but London, you missing the whole narrative just to make your own narrative. This is a prime example of a person missing the narrative just to make their own narrative. Like if he can't provide or do what you what he was been doing. That's what a man's supposed to do. Okay. So what you supposed to do then? What you bring to the table? I bring money, time, commitment, a lot of stuff to the table. Okay, so if you bring that, you obviously don't bring loyalty. Loyalty. Yeah, because that's what a woman who's loyal gonna do. So you saying I'm disloyal? Yeah, because why would you leave your dude at his lowest point? Because he sat there for months and wanted no, to. No, that doesn't mean he just sitting. Maybe he working yeah. on. He sitting. Just be sitting. I'm saying with me. I okay, wouldn't be sitting. I don't know you like that. So that's well, I'm just saying. letting you know. Okay. What type of time I'm on? I love that type of time. And, and maybe, okay. maybe he would just wasn't telling you anything. Maybe he was working on behind the scenes. You just thought he was sitting. Now imagine how you feel right now. He done fell in love with you. Said how long y'all was together? Probably like a year and a half. All right, so listen. I'll never be this. It's not, I don't care if I got surgery, took pills and all of that. I would never be born an actual woman. Um, for women out here, I'm going to give y'all some game. I don't care how much money a nigga got. I don't care where a nigga live at. I don't care what kind of car the nigga drive. I don't care about none of that. If y'all ever in y'all's life run into a nigga like this, I'm not talking about just London. I'm, we're not just talking about London, okay? We talking about a nigga who remotely thinks, acts, and speaks like. Stay away from me, nigga. It ain't worth it because I'm I'm low key tempted if this was possible because you know we all in this meta universe and you know we they, they we we y'all know we getting real real wicked out here in this universe, right? If I could literally press pause on time and I could go to where she's sitting in the car, I would literally open the door, get her out of the car, tell her to walk. Go walk that way. Yeah. And I would politely close the door. Now I would politely come back here and sit down and press play on time and react to the video. Like, damn, bro, she got out of the car. I would do the same thing. Shorty, if you don't get your ass out of that nigga car, like, Lee, like, that nigga got some problems. Stay away from niggas like that. A year and a half, so shit was good when y'all met. Yeah, we was cool. We was cool. Did you love him? We was getting there. Not too much for real, though. So I cared about him, though. You cared about a him? A lot, yes. So if you cared about him, so what was he doing? What, what made you act besides money? 
he was not <clears throat> he wasn't present so when his money wasn't right he wasn't present in other other spaces such as like mentally like he wasn't really like as supportive when i said come to like come out to a show he wasn't there like he didn't check I mean, in you, you gotta think, he right? wasn't present us, and, us as men we go through a lot of you know what i'm saying it's a lot of pressure being a man waking up every day you get what i'm saying so maybe he didn't want to go out why would a man want to go out somewhere when his money not right come and support me at my show that's I something i understand with me. That. i'm your i'm your woman you supposed to be present for me regardless if i'm going through you supposed to be there you going through i'm supposed to be there regardless why do we both gotta like suffer we should still be present for you yeah but you, was you you obviously wasn't trying to help him either though so you pointing fingers no I, i'm asking you've already said that you yeah. wasn't trying to be there once again he like like didn't we just say did i tell him get out of the whip don't get away from a nigga like this um Clearly, you pointing fingers, bro. Clearly, she's trying to tell, regardless of what you're going through. If I got a show, Nick, come to the show. If she got a show, I'm going to go to the show. Broke, fucked up, car car got hood caps on it, oil leaking. I'm still going to go to the show. It, it, nigga, it is what it is. He trying to do everything in his power to go against what she's saying. And once again, we don't forget, right? And I know y'all got lost in the video. At the beginning of the video, he said, we can be cool, we can chill, and we can vibe, right? That's what he said. We ain't got to do sex. We ain't got to do that sex thing. That's what he said, right? Yeah. So, this is what he mean by being cool, being chill, being vibe, being a vibe. How to her about an ex-relationship that she didn't, that he, when she didn't know him, I'm like, come on, man. This is crazy shit, bro. This remind me of, and there be niggas out here like this, and a lot of females that tell you about niggas like this too. There be niggas that will figure out the the, the all the dudes that they girl to mess with, and they go on social media tell us you gotta block him, you gotta block him, you can't talk to him, and mug the nigga when they say, oh yeah, niggas be like that, bro. It's like she mess with she mess with a nigga ten years ago. You can't be friends with him. You fucked him. You can't be be niggas like that, bro. And that just displays the insecure male, man. How insecure this man is. This man sent up her, sent up her arguing with a stranger about her relationship. It would, I would understand if you was her friend the entire time during a relationship, but you wasn't, bro. You just, you know. Anyway, this nigga make my head hurt, bro. It's, they need to go and wrap this shit up. This shit's getting stupid. Come on. But no, I didn't say I wasn't trying to be there for him. I said at a point I wasn't, and then I stopped. I'm not going to keep trying and trying with him. So what you expect from a dude that you mess with? I expect him to be consistent, communicate, um, being present. Loyalty does come at a certain point in time when you build that trust and report with somebody. I definitely think that. Um, and she, like being trustful and loving. Like I want somebody who's really like loving and present with me. Like I need that. Because like if you give me that, I'm going to reciprocate it. But you know what I'm saying? When I feel like you're not giving that, then you lose me. It's just how I should lose you if I wasn't giving what you want. Type shit, you feel me? Do that not make sense? Yeah. So it's not about the money. It's in there, but that's it's not all about it. But it's in there, though. I can't act like it. I, ain't, I don't care about no money because I like to go out. I like to do stuff. I like to spend money. I ain't gonna lie. So spend I like your nice money stuff. then. Spend your money. Okay, I'm gonna spend my money, but I wanna spend his money. Like, say me and you start talking. You yeah. expect me to be doing shit, spending money and taking shop and all that? Yeah, why not? Cause I don't. Cause we just starting to talk. So what? So, so if you broke, just say that. I'm not broke. Okay. Well, what's the problem? Cause I'm just not no trick. And you saying I'm a trick? No. Because I want you to trick on a, me. A trick is somebody who just spend money on a female. He not getting nothing back from. You get my time and my. Alright. Well, you get like, my time. Then my time costs me. My time valuable. Okay. And it is. But mine is. But well, I'm not giving you no money. I'm letting you know that now. Though you're not getting no shopping none of that on me. Okay. So you ain't gonna <laughs> take me out on no date or nothing? Maybe. Not no more though. Cause I see where your mind at. Really? Maybe before. Yeah. But not no more, no. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're wasting time here, so you can just get the go. Because uh, I don't fuck with gold right, diggers. Okay, you I'm, obviously a gold digger. All right, you need. So you have a good day. That's crazy, bro. I ain't even feel like arguing with this woman, man. She's a fucking gold digger for sure, though. Leaving your man at his lowest is not loyal. Subscribe to the channel, man. Say this, and I'm ending this video. Um, first off, she didn't say she gonna leave a nigga at his lowest. She said she would leave a nigga that if a nigga lose it all and a nigga just sitting around for two or three months, four months not doing nothing, then she gonna dip on the nigga. Get your facts right. Secondly, nigga, you sat there and you argued with Shorty. Like, you gave me a motherfucking headache, you know what I'm saying? But ladies, do me a favor, avoid niggas like this. 
Like, avoid these argumentative. Now, there's a difference between being playful and argumentative and a difference between being dead serious and argumentative. Avoid these argumentative-ass niggas. Especially if you just met them yesterday. Now they won't be arguing. Who you talking to? Well, they see you. Like, cut that nigga off. Right. Okay. Anyways, man. My hair hurt. Um, this, is, this, was, this was an eye little video. Trey Rogers. I think you sent me this from Trey, I believe. It's an eye little video. But when it got to the end, it, it just, you know what I'm saying? Just, I'm going to need some ibuprofen or something, bro. But like, comment, share, subscribe, man. We out to the next one, man. I got to go. Fuck that.